got the best bike for Trans Am. You could ride across America on this, no worries. Basically, it's going to be the best bike for road touring. That's what I'm talking about. Bike packing, etc. You could use an old steel frame like this. I wouldn't recommend these shifters because if you take your hands off the bars, hit a bump, you know, you could be better off having an STI where the shifters are here. Now, what I'd recommend is have a, a seat post like this where it's just a standard seat post. You can really micro adjust everything with basic tools. We've got a specialized saddle on here, body geometry, nice saddle. Uh, this is an old, get one of these bikes, maybe 50 bucks here in Australia, the US, and we've got a specialized body geometry saddle. And I have mine angled sort of flat with maybe just a two degree tilt down like that. Um, we want to have just traditional wheels, so if you do break a spoke, it's easy to fix with exposed nipples, etc. Tires, these are good tires, the Continental uh, Gator skin, they work really good. You know, they're not super fast, but they're quite strong. They've got a good sidewall protection there, so Gator skins. I don't really recommend tubeless for road because the pressures you're running, you know, 80 to 100 psi for tubeless, you get leaks and stuff like that. I just recommend a 25 mil tire, you know, or 20, 28 mil. 25 is fine for most roads and just standard dr2 or this i mean dr2 you get more problems with it but cables you can fix cables very easy i like external cable stuff it's just really easy on the road to fix so something like that's really good the trek carbon frames from you know the madones back in the day external cables are really good over here got more modern day bikes super super light again it's got integrated posts so if you have a problem with that if you crack your posts you up shit creek you're really up shit creek. This is a similar saddle. It's called a Bontrag Unger. Fan of these. Standard sort of spokes here. But again, this is a super lightweight wheel from DT Swiss, the RC uh, 28s spline. Monchasserat ceramic hub in there. Uh, very nice, but not very durable. Okay, so if you're under 60 kilos, it's fine. Otherwise, I'd recommend something stronger. Pedals, I recommend mountain bike pedals. Shimano XTXDR, pretty good. Just make sure there's no slot before you leave. It's power meter, stage is power meter. I rate them, help your pacing. And Shimano cranks with an absolute black 4630 is going to be good for most climbs in the world on the road bike out there if you're touring. I recommend shallow section wheels. I recommend shallow section wheels because if it gets crosswinds, like you've got deep section wheels, your front wheel is going to, get, it's going to be really, really, really unstable. And it's just not what you want. You know, it's going to be quite dangerous, especially if you're fatigued, etc. Just you want to have shallow rims. This is a 38 mil wind space hyper fantastic wheel. Uh, I would use these for bike touring. Uh, bring a spare spoke with you. They're just really good. You know, rim brake as well. Easy to adjust. Perfect. So, and this bike is easy to pull apart. Grease the headset. Just super, super easy to do. Uh, wind space hyper 38 mil would be a good touring wheel. Um, what else can I say? Because they're not they're not super super deep, which means they're a lot more aero than the 50 mil version. Is not so aero, 80 mil even less aero because you get the, the crosswinds. <laughs> then you then you're really up shit creek, you're really up shit creek. I just recommend a two by system. Don't recommend triple wing. I don't recommend one by. I like two by because it gives you a better better range of remote gears. So that's another option. That's a little bit of a lightweight carbon bike. Over here, we've got a specialized S Works Ruby. This is great, again, because it's got a standard seat post and clamp, just the external ones. So if you have any problems with that, you get it easy fixed. Any problems with your seat post, easy to done. It's a flip post, so you can have it slammed forward. Another groove saddle Natasha likes this. This is an SLR Cell Italia. She really likes those. I think that one's from AliExpress. Again, just a standard stem and bar combo. I don't recommend one piece, because when you have two piece, you can really you can micro adjust it. You can have it absolutely dialed into perfection. You rotate your bars around, change your stem length, no worries. Got a bright mountain here. This is a quad lock for mapping. For, uh, Natasha's very lightweight. She's she's a girl I pick up and hold against the wall. 56 kilo, you know, lightweight. Pick her up and it's all good. But uh, so she can have the lightweight wheels and have no problems with that. On the back, she's running a power tap, power meter. Works good for her. And just standard spokes, so easy to fix, easy to replace. Bike shops love it. Got some uh, XTR pedals there. She's got a compact crank. She's running a 5034 compact. So again, just a real easy bike to run, ride with. She's got a tail fin rack on there with the Ortley panniers. You know, it's fantastic. Rim brakes, mate, rim brakes. Rim brake road bikes, the best for touring on the road, in my opinion. These are a good little pump here. Uh, it's a Topeak, 
Topic Master Blaster. I've had this actual pump since 2004, almost when Natasha was six years old. I've got this pump, so still going strong. Make sure you, that you do your pumps up because sometimes they rattle loose. You know, if that rattles loose and pops off, then you've got to pump your tire up and you've got nothing on there. So just these rattle loose sometimes. So just give it every now and give it a bit of a check. You know, make sure it's tight. Handles as well. Make sure the handles doesn't, you know, rattle off and rattle loose. And make sure that you put some uh, put some little tape on here in case it's rubbing the carbon away from the frame, okay? Is that rubbing the carbon away there? No, it's not, but keep an eye on that. So I should put some, some clear contact just so that when the, the pump does slide down over time, it's not rubbing the carbon away. There you go. That's an external cable. It's a beautiful bike. This is a Spessworks S Works Ruby. Beautiful bike. Fantastic bike. It's just built for bike packing, built for Tour de France racing. Incredible. So yeah, deep, uh, shallow section wheels, 25 to 28 mil tires, non-tubeless, um, a, a traditional bar and stem you can rotate around, traditional seat posts and angles you can play with on the road, and bike packing bags out the back here. You can put some aero bars in there as well. Don't use carbon bars, use an alloy bar. Just want to put aero bars in there. And basically that's what I recommend. Super cheap options under, under $1,500 USD. You can have, for under fifteen hundred dollars USD, you can have a full world class touring bike with bags, everything included for under fifteen hundred dollars. Get second hand near new. Join my coaching group, doingrod.com, and I can be your bike broker and make sure you get a sick deal. This was this bike here without the wheels, six hundred and fifty dollars Australian. So what's that? Five hundred USD. Shram red, full Shram red is almost brand new off a doctor who had moved to Australia from UK. Killing it, killing it. Hey, over here while we're wrapping up the video, some Zip 440s. I've got these for free. Got given them when I bought a Czech Madonna or Tegra for 450 bucks. They gave them to me. It's brand new. Brand new Zip tubulars. The front's brand new. The rear's had a, a tire on it. You know, tubulars. So not worth much these days, but wow, that 600 hub still feels brand new inside there. That's incredible. Like the, it's got the original factory grease in there. I'll build these up with some tires and they go they go awesome man. These are actually better than the, the 2022 zip disc brake bike wheels. I prefer these are much, much lighter. Crazy times. And transporting your bike, just use a cardboard box. That's what your $20,000 S-Works comes in, cardboard box. Okay? That's what your $19,000 Cervelo comes in, cardboard box. Bit of bubble wrap, good to go.